Before we get started with the video, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe and hit the notification bell, like and share the video, and leave a comment down below. Please do, by the way, because I actually do respond to all of those myself. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mike and this is Mike's After Action Reviews and today we are doing our second product review and we're going to do another Oivo product. So. This is the After Action review for the OIVO charging station for PS5 controllers. Alright guys, so first thing is first, I do want to give full disclosure and just let you know that after I did my review of the OIVO Horizontal PS5 cooling stand, um, I was approached by OIVO and they offered me an affiliate code, so if you would like to support the channel, you can go down into the... Um, the description of this video and find my affiliate code. If you're interested in buying one of these products from OIVO, uh, enter in that affiliate code when you um, check out and I will get a kickback so that supports the channel. It's actually a pretty big deal because I don't get deals like that. I'm very small. I don't make any money off of YouTube right now so any support that I get is really awesome. Now, having said that, my first product review was their PS5 horizontal um, cooling stand and I did you know I said it was above average but I also did say that for being a cooling stand the fans were redundant and didn't work too well so um, take whatever I have to say with a grain of salt because I am um, you know if you use my promo code I am gonna get paid at least a little bit of money I do not suspect that I'll be rolling in the dough or <laughs> I might be able to buy like an extra stick of gum every month from the amount of money I make from sales for Avoivo products. Um, but yeah, so I, but full, I just want to be full disclosure and let you guys know, like my, in, try to let you guys know anyway, that my integrity has not been compromised by Oivo. Big, big um, gaming accessory companies have not uh, corrupted uh, Mike's after action reviews. Okay. But anyway, um, so I do just want to let you know about the company. So Oivo is, um, it, to me anyway, it's a relatively newer um, company. I haven't seen any of these types of products um, before. It's an interesting name, so I think I would have remembered. Uh, but the company, so it's O-I-V-O, which stands for Originality, Ingenuity, and Value Overall. So let's take a look at this product and see if it lives up to the name of its creators. Uh, okay, so uh, the first thing that we look at here yeah, Mike's After Action Reviews when it comes to product reviews is durability. And just like the PS5 horizontal cooling stand that I reviewed, um, I would say that this is pretty durable. So if you take a look at it, so this is the um, charging station here. Um, two, two charging docks there. Um, oh, one second. I already have one of the dongles plugged into a PS5 controller. Um, the Yeah, so uh, you take a look at it, you look at the kind of plastic it has, the weight that it has to it. So these are the dongles, there's four of these dongles. Um, so it has two docks, but four dongles, just so you have extras. I'm sure that you can order more of these dongles from somewhere if you contact a customer support. I haven't had to do that yet or anything, but it is a little bit light, but uh, I actually compared it to my, my Sony official product, you know, officially licensed, you know, charging station. And I, I mean, I would say that it's a little bit heavier, but it's also a little bit bigger. So, um, but actually, if you look at the quality, like of the plastic and the feeling, normally you can immediately kind of get like, oh, this product feels a little bit cheap. Uh, you look at the PS5 controller here, same kind of plastic. Um, so I would actually say that this is pretty much comparable and meets industry standards. So if you think of PS5, um, you know, like the way that it's made, Sony Sony products, Xbox, stuff like that. If you think of those as industry standard, then this meets industry standard. Doesn't exceed industry standard, 
Um, but I don't think it has to, and not many things actually do meet industry standard, you know, at least in my personal experience. So it's pretty nice to have something that's durable, doesn't feel like it's going to break on you, and, you know, at the same time, um, I mean, it actually doesn't look bad. It actually looks like a little cart from a roller coaster or something. I thought that was cool. The digital display, which I'll show you um, shortly here, uh, is pretty, pretty cool as well. Um, and then um, just along with durability, we do have the, the four little dongles. I do like that. Um, and you to, to one of these uh, <clears throat> little, what is it? What, what, what do they call this now? Universal USB? No, it's like, like C, C uh, USB drive or whatever. Yeah, USB C cable, not drive, C cable. So now it has a C cable, which is awesome. So it's faster charging. Um, all right, so then moving into, so for this, it is the price of $20.99. So I would say that this is actually below industry standard for its cost, which is a good thing, sorry. I mean, not below industry standard like it's poor. I mean, like below industry standard, meaning you're gonna pay less for this than you would comparable products. Um, uh, the one that I, so I pre-ordered it with the PS5, The I'm pointing over here because that's where my desk is, uh, the Sony official um, charging station that charges two PS5 controllers, uh, I paid like $35 for, and I, and I ordered that um, pre-ordered that with the PS5 when I pre-ordered my PS5. So um, it may, the cost of that may have gone down, but when I just did a quick search to look at what the average cost of a, you know, PS5 controller, most of them were around $25. This is $20.99. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, below industry standard for what it cost. Above industry standard for values. You see, you see how that works there? Okay, awesome. So that's cool. So then we're gonna go into the setup here. So to like take a look at the setup, I'm gonna bring up the PlayStation 5. Oh, the big boy. Okay, so with this product, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit so we can see this. So um, uh, one of like, like Oivo's big features here is these dongles, which are not bad, I like them. Um, basically you have a dongle that, um, just a moment. You have a dongle that sits in there. You plug it directly into the PS5 controller, so then it looks like a little, little dongle sticking off of there. Uh, you can then take take the controller and you set it just like this. Now the first slot here is labeled as one. Second slot labeled as two. Okay, so it sits in there like that. Now one thing I like about the dongle here, um, as opposed to other stuff, is just that it kind of sticks it in there. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of stuck in there, so it's not as easy to bump and knock off. Not a huge, like, oh man, you gotta get it because of these dongles. Not a big deal, but it is it is nice. Now, uh, so we would plug this in here, excuse me, with the C cable, USB-C cable. And then it does have an on, actually I'll take that off just so I can show you this real quick. It does have an on and off switch right here, uh, which I may put a picture up so you guys can see, but basically for whatever reason, if you have your PS5 on and um, you have controllers plugged into it and you do not want those controllers charging, you can turn it off. So I don't know why you'd want that. I always leave my PS5 on rest mode. Um, so then you can um, USB it to here or you can USB it in the back, which is what I will do because I usually leave the one in the front for like if I'm going to play and need to charge simultaneously. And then all my little accessories I hook up in the back. Okay, so it has a digital display. Again, as I said, the first one is one, the second one is two. When you take your PS5 controller, put it in there, just a little bit there, uh, it will actually display, if, it, if the PS5 controller is charging because it's low battery, it will actually um, show up red on the digital display. If it doesn't need to charge, um, it shows up green. So you know where you're at with your PS5 uh, controllers there. And then, I, like I said, I can turn it off or turn it on as I like. All right, so there is the um, setup and the purpose, uh, which Basically, this is a industry standard idea and setup here. Um, basically, you got two chargers, all charging stations that I've ever seen uh, charge at least two chargers. Um, and actually, I don't think I've seen any of the charge three, but I might be wrong. Um, so let me know in the comment section down below if I'm wrong about that. But yeah, um, the the thing is that uh, move, basically moving into my final review and uh, um, sorry, my final statement and review score here is that, you know, with this setup here, it meets its purpose. Pretty straightforward. It's a PS5 controller charger. Um, 
The durability, like I said, meets industry standard, does not have to surpass it, and not many things do. Um, the, the setup here is pretty cool with the dongles, and then basically everybody else um, has the same idea of, hey, you know, charging station with two controller chargers. Now the, the digital display looks cool, not a huge bonus, but it does look cool. And, um, and the bit, so the big thing here, there is a trade-off when you're looking at plugging in to the PS5 power source directly versus plugging into the wall. Now, my understanding of products, like when I charge my phone or other products, is that it takes longer to charge them from the PS5's power source than it does when I plug them into the wall. But, as a trade-off, you then do not have extra cords, which is a little bit annoying at times. So it depends on what your setup is, and it is a trade-off, so consider that. The biggest advantage that this product has is the fact that it kind of meets all of those industry standard things as far as purpose, setup, durability, but it is below the price point of a product comparable with its competitors. So at $20.99, it's pretty good, and I do like that. So I'm gonna give this product one thumb way up in the air and rate it as above average. Now, this is a weird one because I was trying to figure out like what is above average, what is excellent when we're talking about products like this, accessories and things like that. And basically, in my mind, I would say that average is like go to GameStop, pay a cup, you know, pay basically what is maybe a little bit below to, you know, meeting industry standard for price and then getting something maybe just a little bit cheaper than your um, you know, the the official Sony or Xbox, Microsoft um, um, competitor there. Like a little basically like a cheap knock what you may consider like a cheap knockoff. That's actually what I would consider to be like average. That's your average product. You know, a PS5 controller, well, a PS4 controller costs like 60 bucks, um, or at least it did last time I bought one, and then at the time you could get a knockoff for like 20 bucks. I would say the knockoff is actually like average, and the PS5 itself, the official product, is um, above average. So with this, you're meeting the quality of the PS5, of the, or Sony's official stuff, in my opinion, so I would say above average. Now, the one thing that I would say that makes it a kind of above its competitors is that price point. Uh, it's a, it actually is kind of a big innovation to have the, the dongles. This is a really good idea because I have my PS, like I knock stuff around on my desk sometimes and, and having the, the dongle there um, to kind of hold it in place is, is just a nice little thing. Okay, so that's it for the review, guys. I do want to let you guys know, um, I am So I'm going to have a link to this on Amazon in the description below. Go check that out. And then because I already have the official Sony charging station, I am going to be giving this product away uh, as a giveaway during my next, um, during my next um, after action update. So watch for this on the next after action update. And guys, get your mommy, your papa, and your grandma all to subscribe because we are so close. We are so close to that uh, 500 subscriber uh, milestone goal and then we'll be giving away $250. So go ch spread the word about Mike's After Action Reviews. Um, and also, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, this is the first video that I'm doing since I have started Patreon. So Patreon is here, guys. Go check it out in the description down below if you guys want to support um, I have a $3 tier, and, um, and it, you know, it starts at $3. It's just for support. I'll mention you guys' names in, uh, you know, at the end of each of the videos. Um, and I would just appreciate the support, because like I said earlier in the video, I don't make any money. But if you're not interested in that, that is 100% okay. I totally get it. I'm not really offering any big, big rewards for joining. It's just, um, you know, if you want to see me keep doing this, and you want to throw a buck at me, yeah. I, it's 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 a huge deal. But anyway, as I said, that's all I've got today, guys. I do want to thank you all for watching and just say to you, God bless you all and have a good day. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while I live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring Store. The links for everything are in the description below.